Woo, y'all wanted a part two? You got a part two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and this is part two because some people emailed me and say, Ty, you have to finish watching the rest of that part regarding the free speech. Please, please, please do that before you do the DEI, and I will. Uh, did I tell you I was ready? To, I was Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. I want you guys to follow me on all these platforms y'all see listed up here. I'm not going to go too much into it. If you've seen part one of this, this is about to be a continuation because by demand, like after I even uploaded the video, y'all were emailing me like crazy telling me to please continue doing this and continue I will. So without further ado, without wasting any more time, we about to roll into this part two of the whole free speech incident or interview with Don Lemon, who went crying to CNN and the view about he thinking that he triggered Elon Musk and he claims himself, Don Lemon does, that he is a person of free speech and we all seen through the interview, Elon Musk was calling it out. Like you saying this. So Elon Musk is not falling for the, the trickery of what they you what they do as far as them trying to have a slight of words on you and I, the American people. I'm just being honest. Some people don't have the intellectual capacity to see through that nonsense, but somebody like me, all day long, I, I, I look for it. So anyway, let's get ready to roll into this second part of this, all right? Here we go. Violence, as I just read to you, the shooters, you know, in all of these mass shootings, attributed social media to radicalizing. So, so Don, you love censorship is what you're saying? No, I don't consider censorship. I'm just saying you... No, I literally... Don, you know, I, I literally said, if, if something is legal, okay, we will obviously remove it. Okay. But if it is not legal, the, 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 if the laws in this country were, are, are put forward by the citizens, we're a democracy. Uh, if those laws are put in place uh, by, the, by the people, we adhere to those laws. Okay, and I agree. We adhere agree. to the laws of, of, okay. of others. If you go beyond the law, you're actually going beyond the will of the people. Okay, agreed uh, with the law. But if you are doing something that promotes hate and violence and ultimately leads to killing, you don't feel there's, you have any responsibility not to do that? Uh, when, when, when the people who are I mean, doing I, it I admittedly are saying... those articles all the time that lead to, to violence and killing. Um, don't they? Shouldn't they? Like you're applying a differential standard to. But uh, that would never. That would never be in mainstream media. Now, what I gotta say right here is something that that, that kind of gets me. I feel like he's not letting Elon Musk answer it before he's trying to detract him with another statement. See, I'm the type of person like. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Let me let me finish my thought. I do. I literally do that to people. They don't like it, but the type of person that I am, if I'm honed in on something, and you trying to hear, ah, nah, 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 wait, 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 let me finish saying what I said. These types of images, that type of language, those things would never be, we'd never, in main, when I was in mainstream media, we'd never promote things that um, would, would be anti-Semitic. We would never promote things that, that would. Anti-Semitic either. Did you, did, you, did you not see those? You said promote. You said if content is on the platform, that doesn't mean we promote it. Thank you, exactly. YouTube needs to learn that too. Ladies and gentlemen, I literally got a community strike because I showed a video of Donald Trump speaking at the Alamo. And they hit me and said I was promoting terrorist-like type material and terrorist-like type violence. I literally showed a video. Of I wrote YouTube and everything like, how is this? What? I'm promoting this? I'm showing a video of Donald Trump speaking at the Alamo. So I'm glad Elon Musk got him on that. Just because somebody posts on our platform does not mean that we promote that. That's why people say things like viewer views expressed in this such and such are not the views of blah, 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 blah. They're not promoting that. But that wouldn't be on a, on a platform for mainstream media at all. Time out. I'm sorry to cut y'all off again. Don Lemon and Cuomo, y'all both were on there showing videos of neighborhoods and convenience stores burning. And y'all said, this is mostly peaceful. So were y'all so burning buildings? Were y'all promoting burning buildings, calling it peaceful? The heck are you talking? Were y'all promoting that? Well, no, you would say no. We're not the ones that went in there and burnt the buildings down. We're not the ones in there that broke windows. We're not the ones that threw bricks or anything like that. Okay, but y'all showing it on y'all show CNN. So does that mean that y'all promoting it? No. Come on, man. No, but you can think of that. That's because the mainstream media is has like whatever twenty articles a day. 
Uh, we have 500 million posts today. Okay, understood. 500 million. Does it bother you? How do you feel about that when you see it? I obviously disagree with that. I think it's not, it's not good at all. It's terrible. But you don't want to get rid of it on the platform, or at least moderate it. The rules, the, you're, you're, what, what you're suggesting is censorship that goes beyond well, the law. It's, and what I'm saying is uh, I, that we, I guess, have a disagreement because I do not believe in censorship that goes beyond the law, and you do. We have a difference of opinion in that regard. I understand that. But these are your own rules on your own platform. This, these go against the, the rules on your platform. That's why I'm asking you. If you, had, if you said, listen, we allow everything, but that's not what... What rules, Don? What rules? Your content rules say. And that's why I'm asking you why no. are they still there. The, your own content policy. That's why I'm asking you that, not because... Which part of our content policy says that we, have, we, we, we should delete these, these, these things? Your content policy talks about hate speech. No. <laughs> nope. Nope, no. Nope. Answer my... See, ooh. Hoo, hoo. E Elon Musk. Oh, he, Elon Musk is doing a great job. Me, Don Lemon, what part? What part? Give me an example. Give me, t show me what you're talking about. What part of my policy says what you're saying right now, Don? What? We, with the, no, what, what part says that? Yes, we don't promote hate speech, hate speech. And so you don't consider that hate speech? I guess you're not understanding what I'm saying. There's, 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 if, if, if there's, you, you can find, like, at, at, you can sign up right now and, and, and do a, a hundred things that are hateful. Um, but if nobody reads it, it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> quiet. Y'all see that cricket moment? The, you, can, you can think of X as being, it's much like the internet. It's not some, t it's some tiny publication with like 20 articles a day. It's 500 million. Uh, but everyone has the opportunity to read it, Elon. It's not and they, they, they the opportunity to read it. the internet. Are you said it, suggesting we should shut down the internet? No, but, but you. Good, good point. Good point. Good point. I don't own the internet. I'm asking you about you and your responsibility and your platform. And I, I, so I see how you feel now. You don't agree. We don't agree on this. Yes, you want censorship and I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> love it. I love want censorship. Yes, all. you do. No, I want responsibility. I think there is, I think there. You desperately want censorship. No, if I want a censorship. You want censorship so bad you can taste it. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. I think that there's right and wrong. And, and I think that, and I and I think that when you have a platform that's as big as yours and as powerful as yours and as influential as yours, and you are a person who, of consequence to the world with what you do, that there is a certain responsibility that goes along with what you have on your platform and what you put out to the world, and I, I think that's important. You don't see that responsibility. Um, I think the we have a responsibility to uh, adhere to the law, um, and if people want the law changed, they should. Talk to, the elect talk to their elected representative and get the law changed, and then we will adhere to the law. Okay. But if you want us to go b beyond the law, that is, that is uh, us deciding to be censors. So and I'm against censorship. I'm, I'm in favor of freedom of speech. Yeah. And freedom of speech only is relevant when people you don't like say things you don't like. Otherwise, it has no meaning. But I, I do think that there are, there should be guardrails. And, and I believe in censorship. Free speech as much as you. No, you don't. No, you do not. You don't believe in free speech, Don, when you want them to censor stuff that you don't like. Or you might be considered hate speech. Man, that's some of the craziest stuff in the world to me. I do not care what you consider hate speech. Some Y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, when you become a person to a certain level of maturity, intellectually, nothing can faze me. I can only be offended by those that I love. It's hard for people to understand that you as an individual, people that's in my workplace, my mentees, I'm not saying this for no, I'm not saying this, I'm just letting y'all know. They know and I tell them this. None of y'all can offend me. None of y'all. Nobody that I do not love can offend me. I don't care if it's a white person that's racist and call me the N-word. I'm going to be like, okay, spell it for me. Oh, wow. Now, say it with the hard ER. I'm Because I know what you're trying to do. And if I know what you're trying to do and I still allow it to trigger me, I say that's my fault, but you still can say what you want to. I don't care. Oh, man, he, just like I told y'all the scenario I gave y'all earlier. There was a time in the ghetto when people would say, you know, y'all y'all talking about each other. Somebody go, yo, mama. Oh, that means you got to fight him now. Who came up with that concept? Who came up with 
that myth? Who came up with that folklore? That if somebody say, yo mama, that means you got to go and now fight them. Who came up with that? Somebody called me the N-word. Who said I have to just respond to that by, I'm about to punch you now because of slavery and what y'all do? I don't care. Because technically the fact that you have that much hatred in your heart to make you want to say that to me, you are the one with the issue, not me. You feel with that stuff. You walk around pissed off that you don't like black people. Vice versa. If you are black and you have something against white people right now, you hate white people, you hate any culture, you hate any race of folks, you are the one with the issue. I don't go around wondering what white people think about me. I don't go around wondering if they're watching me or looking at me. I don't care. When I go into a store, I'm going there honed in on something. I'm not trying to look. Let me see if some white people watch me walk through this store so I can be like, why are you following me? I do not care. They can follow me all they want to. And if I do catch on to them doing something, hopefully I might fart or something so they can walk through my fart cloud. I'm saying I don't care. Well, that's our problem today. Talk about it. Our problem is I don't care. I'm about my business. I'm about my business. I'm about progressing. I'm about growth. I'm about moving on beyond that dumb stuff. So y'all follow me? If you have hatred in your heart towards a particular race of people, or it can be anything. Black people don't like me because I speak out about stuff that we do. Black people don't like me because I got out of the hood and became successful. Do you think I seriously walk around Wonder, I don't know what I'm going to do. Black people don't like me because I made it. Oh, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. They said I'm skin folk, but I ain't skin folk. I don't care. My fa- <laughs> Y'all understand the passion I'm bringing to y'all? I am about my family and the legacy I'm building in my kingdom with my family, with my wife and my sons. And then I'll move out to my men, my, my, you know, my mom, my cousins and all them and my mentees. That's what I'm about building. And I have them on this, this trajectory to where we ain't worried about none of that bull crap. Because those people still going to be sitting back talking about, oh, look what we got. We ain't got. We disenfranchised. We oppressed. We owe. Oh, man. Look, you a hood. You, you a sellout. You, a, you can sit there with all that hatred and that jealousy in your heart all you want to. But I am steady moving on. Anyway, y'all, let me see if I can finish this thing off. I would fight. I don't, I, I don't disagree. I don't agree with um, a lot of what you put out on social media, but I will fight for your right to be able to say it. Then what are you talking about? You're going to fight for his right to say it, but you just got done saying it. I don't think they should be saying it. You should be moved off your platform. Man, what are you doing? You, 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 that's, whoa. How did he? Right. Yeah. Okay, so listen, let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion, all right? He said, let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion. And with that right there, folks, that's what I was supposed to be hitting on in this video. Since y'all wanted me to do this part two of this, I will be moving on into the DEI portion of that. Y'all, <laughs> we knew it was going to be some craziness behind it. Don Lemon, you are a snake, sir. You are really slick with trying to run and push this out to CNN and on The View. And show us only little clips here and there about what you wanted to see so you can draw up a narrative like you learned from CNN editors to do. But if we watch the whole interview and can see through the bull crap. Nice try. Sir, you are about censorship. You are not for the First Amendment like you claim that you are because you want them to moderate what people say on here. That didn't work. Y'all, let me know what y'all think of this. Don't forget to get into those cell phones. Please let somebody know about this channel in your contact list. Encourage them to subscribe to the channel after checking the channel out. Also, if you have social media of any type, y'all, you can get on there and recommend your videos. For example, I would say I recommend Brandon Tatum, Candace Owens, Anton Daniels, Aaron O. You know, I can throw those names out there like that. I recommend Jericho Green, Unifier TV. These were, I recommend Fresh and Fit. I recommend that Just Pearly Things. It's a lot of things. That's saying we should be doing this to get the message out there. We all supposed to be like, you know, friends and partners in this type of thing like this to where if we all are about the same goal, we should be promoting and uplifting each other. The Angry Man, another channel I would recommend you guys go over there and check out. This is what we're supposed to be doing to help build each other. But a lot of times in this spaces, people just like being the man or being the person. And that's not what it should be. That's not what it should be about, especially we talking about building things up. This is what the Democrats do really, really well. They all know how they get on one mind, one accord, and promote each other, push each other. That's why they're killing it out there. We all about, I'm, I want to be number one. I want to be number one. No, it shouldn't be that way. A great movie y'all should watch is called Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg. And I love what happened at the end of Rockstar. In Rockstar, I'm going to say this real quick before I let y'all go. But before I do, hit that thumbs up button right now. Hit it right now. Please, 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 please. Click it. Click it. Click it. 
Thank you. Okay, so in Rockstar, Mark Wahlberg was an aspiring singer artist, right? And he loved this rock band. He went to every concert he wore, their clothing and everything. He got front row to get ready to see his uh, band sing. When the band got ready, when this particular lead singer got ready to hit this note, Mark Wahlberg would belt out the note with the singer. The singer looked down at Mark Wahlberg in the crowd, and the singer went to the other side of the stage like, hey, hey, no, don't do that. Mark Wahlberg followed him. When that singer hit that note again, Mark Wahlberg hit that note too. The singer didn't like that. Went away from him. And this is Mark Wahlberg idolized this man. So Mark Wahlberg got a chance in the movie to audition for that band, that same exact band that he loved. He got the part. The lead singer is gone. Mark Wahlberg is now the lead singer. Becomes this crazy big, huge star in the rock and roll world. He gets to a point in his career where Mark Wahlberg is up there singing and there's a young kid down in the audience. This young kid hits the note like Mark Wahlberg got ready to do. But what Mark Wahlberg did was really different. It's a powerful message behind this. Mark Wahlberg gave a little smile when that dude was hitting that note. Mark Wahlberg grabbed the dude, you know, had him come up on the stage, handed the dude the mic and said, it's all yours. Share any with them. If you recognize potential and talent, you bring these people up there. It makes you that much more powerful. It makes you that stronger, that more unified. But we don't do that. We want to do what the guy did at the beginning of that move. We want to, uh, nah, don't be trying to compete with me. Don't try to get on my level instead of recognizing the potential. So that's what I'm saying about all these different collaborators, all these different YouTube content creators. We need to be collabing more to show that we are unified on this stance of what we see going on in our world. So I'm going to leave you all with that. Get into those cell phones. Let somebody know about this channel. If you would, please tell them to check the channel out. Subscribe to the channel if you would, all right? Let's see what y'all got to say on this right here. Don Lemon, shame on you. I am Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.